Hello and welcome to E-Magazine. I'm your host, Brenda Nyami Chaba, and I'm so excited to have you guys here with me as this is a place where we make entertainment and business work together. Guys, I'm Tasha Gunda, and it's Monday, people. And of course, it is time to let you know which celebrity made bank last week and who in card loss is right here on eBrief. Rapper from the group. All right, guys. Iconic rapper from the group Migos Offset is investing in a gaming avenue called Axis Replay. The joint venture between Offset and Axis Replay includes a new streaming platform and a production company called AX. SD Media, as well as uh, a performance series that will cater to emerging artists. The concert experience is said to be like no other previous virtual experience. As the performance won't just be online, the platform is not only catering to the audience but to the entertainment entertainers too by hosting hybrid concerts and hope uh, uh, and hope on hosting intimate uh, parties for intimate uh, intimate experiences with up to. 50 attendees guys we move on straight to tesla ceo elon musk lost 16.3 million dollars last week tuesday now the largest uh, single day wipeout in history after shares plunged the electric car makes a uh, uh, maker bank uh, sank 21 percent in new york trading the company just days before reporting a strong quarter sending shares higher now tesla stock was uh, trading at seven 760.23 dollars just before the plunge to a session low of 716.64 dollars all right guys it looks like it's not a happy ending for moviegoers after all after warner brothers postponed the release of their movie wonder woman from october the 2nd to december the 25th something i was looking forward to which was the next big budget movies now theaters will remain closed due to the coronavirus um, the movie th uh, theaters have been uh, shifting their dates as they try to recover lastly guys it is a fashion season and new york fashion week will look a little different this season with a typical seven day fiesta now reduced to a five day affair because of covid 19 restrictions the shows this year will be online shows and some will be live but with smaller social distancing audience guys that was it for e brief coming up next we have e review don't go anywhere All right, guys, like I said, it is e-review. We have so much to talk about. And we're going to start off with the Kardashians. And sadly, Kardashian, the Card Keeping Up With The Kardashian series is coming to an end. Now, the reality series uh, is finally coming to an end after 14 years of being on the screen and 20 seasons of gracing the screens. The big news was announced by Kim K on her Instagram page stating that the family has made the difference difficult decision to move on to the final season which will air in March 2021 guys now the reality show has made has bathed the dynasty of uh, the car Jenna girls making some of them self-made billionaires in their own right the stars assigned a 150 million joint deal uh, that saw them take home a whooping 30 million dollars per person in the past five seasons now brenda is this the end of reality show a uh, reality tv as we know it well i'm so sad that keeping up with the kardashians oh, is sad. actually ending because i am a big fan of mm -hmm. watching them even though it kind of make me feel yeah. sad about my life when i watch them yeah but it's not the end of reality television mm -hmm. we have so many other reality televisions that ha are happening yeah of course keeping up with the kardashians yeah. kind of put like a pedestal for a lot of these individuals yes. but i feel like they're going to be a um, openings for other reality yeah. TV shows on my perspective. And of course, we have the social media to think for so many things. But this season, we found that uh, Keeping Up With The Kardashian actually made or uh, brought in 
a very large, a little number of mm -hmm. views. Mm -hmm. Do you think that social media and social media influencers have actually made this kind of thing happen? We know, like as we know it, people are not watching as much TV as we know because now all mm -hmm. everything is on social media. Yes, hundred yeah. percent. I feel like um, you know, as you know, become more digitized and yeah. everything just grows and becomes more digitized. Mm -hmm. Of course. Um, yeah. We're not going to watch TV as much, uh, yeah. so we will prefer watching, keeping yeah. up with the Kardashians online on yeah. our online streaming platforms. But I yeah. generally do not know. I didn't. I'm actually quite surprised that it got very few views on yeah. that. Yeah, it actually that did. That's quite shocking. It was, it was quite shocking because uh, the the previous uh, episode, not the previous, the previous season, got 1.3 million uh, views. So they were expecting. Actually, E was expecting that they would bring in, you know, mm -hmm. a bit more views, and it didn't happen the way it was. But then the question was is it the end of the kardashian career as we know it mm -hmm. and i was just arguing with somebody the other day and i was just telling them that no it isn't because i mean kylie jenner has made herself a self-made billionaire while kim kardashian just grossed in 900 million now her mm -hmm. she's worth 900 million dollars in itself mm -hmm. but we have to actually put where credit is due and say that it was actually keeping with uh, keeping up with the kardashian that brought them to this stage do you think that i have to agree with you actually yeah. on that it's not the end of their careers because actually yes. I look at reality television as a platform for individuals to grow yes. their popularity mm -hmm. and that's exactly the, what keeping up with the Kardashians did for them for a really really long time yeah. that it just became um, traditional it yeah. became a tradition for the family to have this show in general mm -hmm. but you'll see even other celebrities use reality television shows to yeah. just get their popularity out yes. there yeah. and just get known and start getting business deals one thing that I really like from uh, all the other reality shows that we've ever had Considering that you know the uh, Paris Hilton and Nicole Richie, they had a uh, they had a, se a series mm -hmm. on I don't know what network that is I don't remember but they didn't <laughs> actually gross enough money like you know yeah, how they were boring to actually watch. yeah they were boring to watch <laughs> okay I wouldn't say that they were boring to watch they actually you know like they had the money but they didn't you know uh, invest mm -hmm. it as as well as keeping up oh the Kardashian uh, mm -hmm. sisters did all right guys we're moving on to the next uh, uh, story which is Willie Paul social media went crazy last week after Willie Paul posted a video on Instagram in what looked like he was angry at the MCSK and the government bodies at large having been misappropriated <laughs> fans are uh, meant uh, meant for artists guys this singer stated that uh, the singer stated that the government has failed to protect their own artists brenda what is mcsk first of all that laugh just made my day <laughs> 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 but you know um artists are going through so much right now with yeah. covid19 and the government yeah. really isn't doing anything i feel like they're uh -huh. just talking about making yeah. um you know steps to yeah. towards helping artists yeah all creatives in general, but yeah. nothing has really been done to help them cushion during this period. Yeah. So when Willie Paul is out here talking and complaining and saying why why he's suffering, yes. what what's making him suffer, he's allowed he's at the end allowed. of the day. I mean, because at the end of the what day. Are, this how is the government else gonna yeah. listen to you? Get what I mean? I mean, yeah. Considering um, uh, the social media, you know, views, YouTube and all these other mm -hmm. streaming, uh, you know, where they place their music, Spotify and all these things, they stream in millions and millions of shillings only for an artist to be paid 2,500 shillings at the end of the month. I feel like the government needs to take a higher, you know, authority on these kind of things. W when, like, they have, we, they have been audited once, you know, like time and time again. Why is it that they're not changing? Is it has it reached a point where now we are actually asking the the the, the, the president mm -hmm. to you know pay people for what they have suffered for because mm -hmm. i mean willie paul s s said that you know he he uses four million five million find artists using over budgets to budget and finance their music only to be paid 2500 i mean it's, yeah it's I, I completely agree the, the yeah. government just overlooks the creative industry industry yeah. a lot yeah. and it's something they need to step in but also this is a this is a time that really teaches artists to diversify yeah. um, their cash flow cash uh -huh. inflow as yes. well you're just yes. not going to rely on music like yeah. for example covid 19 has taught you yes you can't be doing this music right now of during course time, so you need to have i mean offset is an example offset is a, is a huge example of, of you know artists 
venturing into different exactly. businesses. Yeah. So that's what our Kenyan artists also have to learn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because at the end of the day, I mean, the the music industry is like a one-time thing. I, I, by this, I mean, you you do a concert and they pay you one hundred and fifty thousand. The next time you actually go for a concert is maybe three weeks later, four weeks later, or mm -hmm. even a few months later so how do actually these artists survive but then at the end of the day i feel like mck should sh mcsk should take you know responsibility and give give them what is due mm -hmm. to them i completely agree with you on that all right guys that is the end of e review guys we want to know what you guys are talking about you want to join into the conversa conversation it is metropole tv ke on all our social media platforms you can also find us on our social uh, on our personal social media handles i underscore am underscore tamasha i'm sure brenda is just about to tell me that i should change my <laughs> my instagram handle i will guys but then guys it has been been real.